Welcome back, folks. I know the title and thumbnail of this video have you thinking, wow, I'm about to become a hacker by watching this. Well, you're not entirely wrong, but let me burst the bubble a little. Becoming a hacker isn't like learning a TikTok dance. It's not going to happen overnight. However, if you've got the drive, the curiosity, and the patience to follow every step I'm about to share, you'll be well on your way to mastering the art of cybersecurity. But first, a quick disclaimer. Starting with step one, which is get cozy with Linux. If hacking were a superhero movie, Linux would be the superhero's secret burrow. It's where all the magic happens. This open source operating system is your best friend when it comes to security and flexibility. As an ethical hacker, you'll need to speak fluent Linux because it's the go-to OS for hacking and cybersecurity. It's packed with an arsenal of tools designed for hackers. And unlike some operating systems, it's less likely to betray you with constant vulnerabilities. Some popular Linux distributions you should know about include Red Hat Linux, Ubuntu the Friendly One, Kali Linux, and the legendary Backtrack. Out of these, Kali Linux is like the Swiss army knife for hackers. It's preloaded with all the tools you need to poke around systems, ethically, of course. Think of it as Linux with a hacking cape ready to help you dive into penetration testing and vulnerability analysis. Step two, master the art of networking. Networking is what keeps everything connected and running. As an ethical hacker, you need to know how computers talk to each other, because let's be honest, you can't hack into something you don't understand. Networking is the backbone of cybersecurity and understanding it is non-negotiable. Start by diving into concepts like TCP and IP which is the language of the internet, DNS, the internet's address book, and HTTP. That's how websites serve you cat memes securely. Learn how firewalls work and explore routing, subnetting, and ports. To make things fun, grab a tool like Wireshark. It's like putting on night vision goggles for network traffic. You'll be able to see what's going on under the hood of the internet. And don't forget to explore concepts like VPNs, proxies, and how data packets travel because knowing the path your data takes is like understanding how secret agents deliver messages. Step three, learn programming languages. To be a successful ethical hacker, you need to know how to speak to computers, and that means diving into programming languages. Think of it this way. If hacking is like solving a mystery, programming is your magnifying glass, secret decoder ring, and flashlight all in one. Start with Python, often called the hacker's holy grail. It's easy to learn, incredibly powerful, and perfect for writing scripts, automating tasks, and testing vulnerabilities. Need to scan a network or crack a simple password? Python's got your back. For deeper system-level exploits, move on to C and C++, which let you interact directly with the guts of an operating system. Then there's JavaScript, the ultimate tool for hacking web applications. It's like having a master key to the Internet's most vulnerable doors. Want to mess around with a website's client-side behavior? Ethically, of course. JavaScript is your jam. And don't forget Bash, the scripting wizard of Linux. It's essential for automating repetitive tasks and looking super cool in the terminal. Learning programming isn't just about writing code. It's about thinking like a computer. So flex your coding muscles. Build some cool projects. And before you know it, you'll be conjuring up scripts like a digital wizard. Step four. Master the art of being invisible or staying anonymous. Before you start exploring the digital world like an ethical hacker, you need to channel your inner ninja. Stealth is key. The golden rule of ethical hacking is to leave no trace behind, because if someone can trace your footsteps, it's game over. And trust me, you don't want a black hat hacker figuring out that you're in the same network. They might decide to make you their next target. Learning to stay anonymous isn't just a skill, it's your digital survival kit. Now let's talk about the essentials tools for staying anonymous. Anonsurf. Think of it as your invisibility cloak. It routes your internet traffic through Tor, masking your identity and making you nearly untraceable. Proxy chains. Want to take anonymity to the next level? Proxy chains is like playing digital hopscotch, bouncing your connection through multiple proxy servers so no one can tell where you started. MacChanger. This little tool lets you change your MAC address. 
the unique ID of your device. It's like showing up to a party with a different name every time. But being anonymous isn't just about using tools, it's a mindset. You need to develop habits like using VPNs, avoiding public Wi-Fi, unless you're securing yourself, and keeping your software up to date. Anonymity is your shield in the hacking world, so treat it with respect. Step five, go on a vulnerability hunt. Every system has its weak spots. Vulnerabilities are like the cracks in a fortress wall. As an ethical hacker, your mission is to find these loopholes before someone with bad intentions does. Think of it like being a friendly burglar hired to test the locks on a mansion. You're not there to break in. You're there to show how someone else could and fix it before disaster strikes. Start by learning how to scan systems and networks for these weaknesses. Some vulnerabilities can lead to security breaches, and your job is to sniff them out like a digital bloodhound. Once you get the hang of it, you can even write your own scripts to identify vulnerabilities. Because why not create your own toolkit of tricks? Here are some rockstar tools in Kali Linux that make vulnerability hunting fun. Nessus Vulnerability Scanner. This one's like a web detective. It scans web apps and systems, pointing out security flaws that scream, fix me. OpenVAS Vulnerability Scanner. A network guardian that helps you identify weak points in connected devices. If there's a sneaky vulnerability on your network, OpenVAS will sniff it out. Nikto Vulnerability Scanner. Imagine a grumpy old inspector who won't stop pointing out flaws. Nikto scans web servers and gives you a long list of things to fix. Exploring vulnerabilities isn't just about finding problems. It's about understanding how those weaknesses could be exploited and most importantly, how to patch them. Think of it as being both a detective and a handyman, except instead of tools like wrenches and drills, you're armed with scanners and scripts. And remember, the more vulnerabilities you find and fix, the safer the digital world becomes and the cooler you look while doing it. Step six, dive into the shadows of the hidden web. Ready to explore the internet's secret basement? Welcome to the dark web a hidden part of the internet that search engines can't see. It's like the backstage of a theater where the real action happens, but you need special permission or tools to get in. Ethical hackers need to understand how the dark web works, not to join the chaos, but to learn how to protect systems from those who do. To access this hidden layer, you'll need an anonymizing browser called Tor, the onion router. It's called that because it routes your traffic through layers of encryption like peeling an onion, except this onion won't make you cry. Once you're in, you'll find everything from secret forums and anonymous marketplaces to whistleblowing platforms and secure communications for journalists. Yes, the dark web has its legal and ethical uses too, but be warned, it's also a hotbed of shady activity. Criminals, black hat hackers, and cyber thugs lurk in its corners, so tread carefully. As an ethical hacker, your job isn't to participate in the dark web's mischief, but to understand its ecosystem. Think of the dark web as a digital jungle. It's fascinating, dangerous, and worth exploring only if you're prepared. So suit up, stay anonymous, and learn how to navigate this shadowy side of the internet. Just don't accidentally stumble into something weird. You can't unsee that. And that's a wrap, folks. Those were the six crucial steps to kickstart your journey as an ethical hacker. Remember, hacking isn't about breaking things. It's about securing them and looking cool while doing it. Now go sharpen your skills, practice like crazy, and maybe one day you'll be the superhero of cybersecurity. Until then, stay curious, stay ethical, and stay away from dodgy websites.